One SEO principle that has changed little over the years is on-page keyword optimization. There may be different ideas and ways to do this optimization, but at its core, on-page keyword optimization provides a solid direction for a website's content. The first step I take when creating any page is to understand exactly the user's intent. As simple as this step is, I am surprised how often it is overlooked. When it comes to deciding the user's intent, I usually classify a page into three possible categories. One, informational, two, commercial, or three, both. Having a clear understanding of the purpose of your content and where you want it to go will help you in selecting your keywords. Take, for example, this top 10 article on herbal remedies that has hard scientific evidence. The purpose of this article is to build the HerbalDoc brand as a trusted resource, not to sell any of our products. It is our hope that by providing quality information that the user will share and bookmark HerbalDoc and return when they have herbal needs. Now this page is solely for commerce purposes. It is apparent that I am heavily focusing on different detox products. Finally, here's an article that focuses on both commerce and information. While doing keyword research, I found that there were a lot of questions around detoxing and cleansing. So this article helps the users understand the differences and at the end encourages them to check out HerbalDoc's different detoxing products. After I assess the purpose of the page, it is much easier to then decide on what my primary keywords should be. Returning to the article about the top 10 herbal remedies with scientific proof, it makes sense that I use the keyword scientific evidence for herbal remedies instead of buy herbs. And for the commerce page, the head or primary keyword being herbal detox kits shows that people are looking for something to buy rather than just information to learn about. And of course, since I'm focusing on a question for the article that is both informative and commercial, I would use the question detox or cleansing as the keyword. Next, I establish a few supportive keywords for each primary keyword. Now, I want to clarify what I mean by, quote, a few supportive keywords, unquote. I usually will only have one or two supportive keywords for each primary keyword. I may have three if they make sense in the article, but that is rare, since I use the supportive keywords more for placement than content, which I will explain in a minute. But first, supportive keywords are the derivative or long tail keywords that match the primary keyword focus. I can easily pull from the keyword list that I created in our very first module. Also, another easy way is to create a quick list of supportive keywords by using the Google Display Planner. The tool is part of Google AdWords Tool Suite. So to start, I will head over to adwords.google.com and click on Tools and Analysis tab. From there, I am given some options in a dropdown, which I will select the display planner that is located midway to the bottom. Next, I am taken to a screen where I can enter some keywords. This tool is mainly for Google's AdWord network and can give a waterfall of information. All I'm interested in is some basic information, so I just put in my primary keyword, Herbal Detox Kit, and click on Get Ad Group Ideas. The next page provides some great information, but I'm only interested in the Keyword tab. After selecting the Keyword tab, I am given a list of topics to consider. Obviously, a sensitive stomach dealing with dogs is not what I'm looking for. Further down the list is the topic Herbal Detox with some great supportive keywords. I could drill down and see more keywords by clicking on Herbal Detox, but for the sake of time, I will just grab the keywords Herbal Detox Products and Detoxing Your Body Naturally. Earlier, I mentioned that these keywords were more for placement than content. This step is where many get tripped up with keyword optimization. As stated in part one of this module, the old SEO rules would have me take these keywords and stuff them in my page title, URL, description, and article title tags, and saturate my content with them. Doing this today will only get me in trouble with over-optimization penalties. Instead, I will only use the primary keyword once or twice in my content, and only once in any of the other locations. So here's a rich snippet of the commerce page. As you can see, I only have the primary keyword in the description. I have a supportive keyword in the URL and one in the page title. I do have the primary keyword once in the content, 
which helps a little, but not as much as one might think. In fact, what matters more than cramming my keywords into my article is focusing on just writing great content. This may seem trite to on-page optimization, but truth be told, particularly now with all the search engine updates, great content plays a much stronger role in optimization than it ever did before, which is a natural lead into the next aspect of on-page optimization.